Hey guys, it's Nedcase, and today I'm doing the 10 style challenge. Uh, it's basically a thing where people draw the character themselves in 10 different styles. I chose to do uh, full body pictures, which looking back on it probably wasn't the best idea. But uh, first off, I'm doing my style just to give a baseline on how I draw myself. So, uh, this is what I used for all my color key and just, you know, like the clothing and everything, base everything else off of. This would be the, uh, the main one for that. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do this and I really liked the idea and it was definitely a fun challenge for me. I ended up changing out one of the uh, styles of choice at the end. I was going to do Don Bluth as my final one, but I ended up using Gravity Falls instead just because I was having issues finding enough references to feel comfortable to do uh, his style. So, yeah. <laughs> the one I did for myself and my style here, it takes a little longer because I do color my lines and stuff like this is like my normal style, so I have to be true to that, be true to my style, you know, kind of thing, so. There's the first one. Alright, and then the second one I'm doing the panty stocking style. It's an anime by uh, Studio Trigger. If you don't know what that is, you should look it up. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty awesome series. It's really angular and everything. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I think this was the first of the challenges that- or the first of the other art styles that I drew and I really like this one and I've had a lot of fun drawing other characters and stuff in this style since then because I felt very confident after drawing this one to do more so I definitely like this style a lot and I do plan to do more in this style just because it is so much fun. It's so blocky and angular and everything. Very easy to work with for me. And I couldn't find anybody that had like glasses in the show, so I couldn't see how detailed the glasses were supposed to be, but uh, I did do something at least. <laughs> Colors are really easy on these because I, with a lot of the styles, I have very closed lines versus my own style where I don't close my lines a lot. So yeah, and then we're on to Powerpuff Girls. Oh, I think. This is one of the ones I wasn't super happy with in the end, but that's just because I don't know that I really enjoy drawing in this style. I did try to mimic the thick outer lines with the thinner inner lines and stuff, so you'll see that once I get to doing details like there. And uh, unlike in the rest of the drawings where I use a brush, I was actually using the line and uh, circle tool and sigh in this to make more like vectored looking lines because that's what the Powerpuff Girls look like so they needed to like I was, I was trying to match that style so <laughs> and then like I said like the 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 clothing fill in is just so much easier in these styles because I can just select and then fill and select and fill those eyes Ugh. <laughs> okay, and so this is one that I was kind of disappointed in myself with, but it might just be me being overcritical of myself because uh, this is Venture Brothers, which is my all-time favorite television show, and I tried super hard to try and imitate how they draw like everything in this, like down to like the little wrinkles and stuff. Um, tried to not add too many wrinkles, but just do enough that like they usually would do and whatnot. I uh, even gave myself like the little weird nose and one of the reasons I love the style is like the hard shading that you get like you'll see under the neck there and like under the arms and stuff you'll just see like the blocks of black for the shadow and I just really like that in the animated style. It just looks super cool. And I just, I don't feel that I truly like captured that it does look close enough that I feel like it passes as that but it's just I it, it's one of those ones that I think I'd have to work on more to like 
actually be able to do the style and have it look like the style. But yeah, I definitely would like to do that because again, since the Venture Brothers is my favorite television show, it would be a lot of fun, I think. But I really don't have like a reason to practice that. But yeah, and there's me just adding in some more shading because it's like, okay, yeah, just do a little more. <laughs> And then we're on to the uh, Adventure Time one. Yeah, the Adventure Time one is super easy for me. The Adventure Time style is just so simple and it's definitely one that I've messed around with before for like commission specials and stuff. So it, it was nothing new to me and that was one of the reasons why I did want to do it because I felt like, you know, I could do that one a lot easier. Uh, <laughs> the drawstrings in several of these have very odd placements and I'm always like, oh yeah, that that doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't look good. But uh, I still think they're funny, so... One of the things I did in this style is uh, whenever they did a mouth a certain way, like coloration and stuff, I usually stuck with that, so you'll see that. Um, and then uh, Futurama, which is my, I would say also my favorite show. I would say Venture Brothers and Futurama are my two favorite shows of all time. And uh, this is also one that I've definitely drawn both myself and characters in before. I actually did a thing for myself uh, with the Robot Devil's hands whenever I found out about dealing with my arthritis and everything kind of as like a uh, therapeutic piece for myself just to like be like it's okay you know I'll still be able to do art I just have to keep up with what the doctor told me to do so this is definitely a style that I felt confident drawing and was just like yep I have the references here just in case that I need them and whatnot which I didn't feel I really needed them that much but uh they were there, just in case. I hope those... I hope that offline media is not coming off for you guys, but it, I keep getting like an air thing while I'm recording. Now this is another one that, uh... I don't know, I wasn't super proud of, but I did feel like I at least captured the style, but I don't know. Uh, the, you know, Ed, Ed and Eddie is one of those shows that like every single character is drawn differently like by the wide variety of characters you can see I have there for references like everyone is different like they don't have a set style for each character and so it's kind of hard to have it look like it's in that style unless you like copy specifically one of the characters which I felt weird doing so I didn't do that and then the next one is Dragon Ball which uh I grew up watching Dragon Ball <laughs> versus Sailor Moon because uh, I don't know that's just what the the guys at my uh, after school program watched they didn't watch Sailor Moon they watched Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and so I have that more ingrained in me than I ever did Sailor Moon and so I knew that I really wanted to include specifically Dragon Ball in the style challenge just because it was definitely impactful for me as an artist because I remember drawing like characters from Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z throughout my whole middle school and high school career just like just drawing them and stuff. <laughs> my favorite character was always Krillin which everybody always thought was weird but I was like at least it wasn't Yamcha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yamcha gets too much crap anyways. Uh, one of the things with the style for this was the big highlight, which I think I definitely bring through on a lot of my other- like my own style, I always do highlights in the eyes. I know a lot of, of the characters have highlights in the eyes, but like specifically how they did the highlights, I was like, that's how I've done it. And then we're on to Gravity Falls, which was the one that I replaced the Don Bluth with because I was just like, I don't know what to draw. <laughs> I can't get that right, and so I uh, based myself off Mabel mostly because I have the big oversized sweater for the drawing. Um, even though this one wasn't planned to be one of the ones I was going to do, I'm actually really proud how this one turned out, so yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys like this one. Um, I've actually never finished Gravity Falls. I finished 
the first season, but never the second. But I've also had like the whole thing spoiled for me, so... Yeah. <laughs> the internet is amazing for that, isn't it? But I did enjoy what I did see, so... Yeah. There's just so much other shows out there that I want to watch more of, too. And since I know the ending to this one, I don't- I guess I don't feel like I need to watch the ending since I know it. And then the last, but the not least, is Invader Zim. Uh, I grew up watching Invader Zim, obviously, and like, uh, I also had a lot of Jonas's, uh, like, other comics and stuff, like, several people in my high school we had them, and uh, like I had a Johnny the Homicidal Maniac t-shirt even. It was one of those things that my parents, or my mother absolutely hated, and I believe uh, went missing at some point. <laughs> but I still have it now, like at, when I was moving out I found it, so I found it as in my mom gave it back to me. But yeah, uh, <laughs> so I think that's it, yep. So there are the 10 styles. We got Gravity Falls, Adventure Time, Panty and Stocking, Futurama, Powerpuff Girls, Dragon Ball, Adventure Brothers, Invaders, and Ed and Eddie, along with my own. I hope you guys did enjoy that video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.